hey what's going on guys welcome back to a brand new video here on swalt academy my name is gib moses and in today's video let's take a look at litecoin against the usd in the shorter time frame so as you already know litecoin copied the same exact fractal during this run up that's exactly what we had with our current uh, impulse to the upside however this pullback that we're getting right now it's not this one right here. It's doing a whole different one. As mentioned in our previous video, it's copying this pullback right here. So if that's the case, where exactly are we in this fractal? So if we were copying the same exact data as this one right here, I'm going to show you where exactly we are today. And I'm going to be showing you where I'm going to be filling my bags. Uh, if we get that further pullback. So that all depends on Bitcoin. But let's show, I want to show you that scenario because it's a possibility. Let's go ahead. I'm going to be using three support lines and our Fibonacci levels. And that's it. That's going to give us an approximate uh, timeline of where we are right now. So we have our first support line followed by our second. And we have our third one right over here, just like that. So for those people that want to know how I did that, very simple. All you're doing is you're connecting your lowest low followed by your higher low same thing with this one lowest low followed by a higher low and with this one lower low followed by a higher low let me change the color real quick bam just like that all right so that looks nice and clean so right here you guys can see how every single time we broke our major support line price went on a major retracement and that's exactly what happened major retracement and that's what's happening with the current fractal. We're breaking below this major support line. So I'm expecting further downside. I'll show you where exactly. So in our previous video, we said that we might be doing this same exact sideway action right here. And that's it. It's confirmed that we are. So let's go ahead. I want to see exactly where we are right now and how far down we still have to go. So right here, we have our 1.13 Fibonacci level. Bingo. It went up to the 886. And then it got rejected. Looking at the current fractal, uh, let's measure from bottom to top. We triggered the 1.13 Fibonacci level at 220. Went for a nice impulse move to the 886. Bingo. And right now we're basically doing that retracement. So right here, major retracement. That's exactly what's happening now. And then we have our... And that's exactly what we had with our pullback. We went for the 886. So let's go ahead find that next box i'm gonna go ahead take our local low right here to our 886 and right here we have some nice confluence with our major support line at the 1.1618 at around 200 dollars level psychological level 1618 at 200 dollars that's going to be our deep demand zone and then 886 at 193 that's even a much deeper uh, demand zone so do expect if we get down here it's going to be quick okay it's going to be less than 24 hours and up we go it's not gonna, we're not going to be here for long so once we get down here you don't want to be panic selling all right these are powerful uh fibonacci levels that you must buy okay it's an automatic buy for the bulls uh however if you're the average rakish out there oh i think we are dropping to zero dollar i don't think we go up from here then by all means go ahead do your thing sell okay because you're gonna get wrecked as simple as that so this 1.1618 and the 1.86 powerful support lines uh, i don't see us going any lower than this all right so this is worst case scenario let me go ahead and just label them that way you guys can take your screenshots do whatever you got to do so 193 to around 200 dollar mark that's our deep demand zone automatic buy okay no question asked some of you might be wondering okay but why why the 186 how come not the 2.618 or even the 3.618 we can go there and no we can't because uh, during bull markets is very unlikely that we go down there all right these fibonacci's have been respected throughout this whole run all right this whole run i can go back in time they are respected uh, no matter what even right here, I mean, the top that we got for right here, it was simple. Uh, I told you guys straight up that we're going to get rejected. And that's exactly what happened. 186. All right, powerful. Once again, that's what happened. Nice impulse to the downside. We weren't there for long. 
that's where I told you guys. That's where I sold most of my bags. Um, and that's exactly what will happen. What's gonna happen right here? All right. Instead of us getting rejected to the downside, it's gonna be inverse. We're impulsing to the upside. So instead of us impulsing to the 286 or God knows what, where Keish is looking for, no, no, no. We're gonna be impulsing to the upside. All right. So that's worst case scenario is we go for this deep demand zone. And like I said, guys, uh, if we get down here, you buy. It's an automatic buy. Uh, this zone, think about it as these previous zones that we traded. All right. Deep demand zone. I'm buying. This is where I go all in, full on mode. If you've been following the channel, you know exactly what I've been doing. Uh, I filled around 18% up here. I'm going to go ahead, add another 15%. And if we get this major pullback to around, uh, this is where I go all in. That's it because we know what's coming next. We go for that $400, $500 mark. So just like what happened in this fractal right here, so much noise, negative, negativity, uh, people calling for uh, the next bear market, going for $100, $50, and so on. The same bullshit, same emotions are about to repeat again in this fractal, okay? Humans are driven by emotions, especially in the crypto market, all right? They don't think with... These Fibonacci's, they don't think with uh, logic. They trade based on emotions. And that's the last thing I want you guys doing is trading based on emotions. Just like what the people did right here, right over here. And I can go on forever and ever. All right. So don't don't get shaken out. I mean, I'm making these videos to help you guys out, give you uh, an idea of what's yet to come and show you my personal TA. Of course, this is not financial advice. Uh, just me sharing my insight, trying to help you guys out. I know there's a lot of family, friends, of course, my supporters here on YouTube uh, that are new. So this is my uh, gift to you, making sure you're not getting wrecked with the majority of people out there. So let's go ahead. I want to erase all these Fibonacci's. So focus on this green support line, all right? This support line has been respected ever December 20th, all right? I mean, if we get that final drop, do you really think it's going to break through? <laughs> In a bull market, there's no way. People out there are literally, they got buy orders down here uh, waiting for this major demand zone. Nothing is bullish about Litecoin until this major resistance line is broken. So right now, Litecoin is in bearish uh, territory. It might do its thing. It might get rejected again. Drop. And then once this red line is broken, it's go time. All right. And we can confirm that by looking at our time sequence. So right over here, we have fourth sequence starting around the break of this major resistance line. So until then, uh, we're going to see some nice price action. Once again, uh, this is exactly what I'm looking for in the coming days. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you haven't done so, turn on your notifications and I'll see you all in tomorrow's video.